I've partnered up with Riot and Valorant to get early access to episode four of the Valorant Battle Pass, including the new agent, Neon. So we're gonna go through Neon and her abilities. We got fast lane, relay, bolt, high gear, and overdrive. I wanna see what they do. I wanna see what it looks like. I'm just gonna run through here and test out her abilities. The early speculations from this agent from the community was that Neon looks overpowered. She can sprint, she can slide, she shoots lightning from her fingers. So we're gonna test that out. We're gonna see just how powerful her abilities are, what they what they look like. I haven't played her yet, this is my first time. Whoa, these are the default settings. We gotta change these. <laughs> All right, first things first, let's look at the ability cost. The fast lane, that's the two Phoenix walls, that's 300 credits. Relay bolt, that's the concussion grenade. Those are 200 credits each. And then the high gear, that's her sprint slash slide, it's free. Now the slide, kind of like Jet's dash, it resets after every two kills. Her first ability, the fast lane, the two energy walls, Walls. Now, it looks like the Phoenix Wall where it blocks off vision and it says here that it damages enemies who pass through them. So again, it's going to be like the Phoenix Wall. However, the only difference is I don't think you can curve them. Yeah, you can't. It just goes in a straight line. So the Phoenix Wall, you can curve it. This one, you can't. So you're going to have to be aiming in the direction where you want this tunnel. So you can do something like this and push on a site without being seen from like triple or U-Haul in this example, but you can't be hiding behind this new box on Bind, for example, and curving it onto this site. It's just gonna go straight like this, which is interesting. It makes the Phoenix Wall still somewhat relevant because you can curve the Phoenix Wall, which gives you that flexibility. However, I feel like people would rather use the Neon Wall because it blocks off two vision points. So for example, I can do this tunnel like I showed you, and it blocks off U-Haul, and it also blocks off Pocket, and Showers, and even Heaven. And look at all this map control we just got with that simple wall, so that's quite interesting. Next we got Neon's Relay Bolt. Now this is her concussive grenade. What makes this Relay Bolt so interesting is when it makes impact with the wall, the ground underneath it, when it makes that impact, it gets that concussive blast, and then the actual Relay Bolt itself is gonna bounce off and hit the ground, and that's gonna have a second blast. So for an example, if you wanna stun the lamps or U-Haul, whatever you call it, you can throw it off this wall here and concuss this area, and then when it lands, it'll concuss this area as well as you can see. Now you can get some pretty insane coverage with that. You can bounce it off here and you can get a large portion of the site. You can bounce it off this wall, get a portion of triple there. You can bounce it into heaven and it gets a lot of heaven. It has a lot of potential. The effects of it, I'm assuming, is gonna be like a breach stun. It'll blur your vision, it will slow your movement and your firing speed, so this can help you entry into sites as Neon, or you can set up your teammates with this as well, as the enemies will have difficulties fighting back, and you can push onto the site with ease. Her next ability is high gear. Now this is her sprint, as you can see. It's not super fast, but it's definitely gonna be faster than knife running, so that can help you push into a site. And then, just like a jet dash, what you can do is right click and it lets you slide like this if you use the neon dash or the slide i guess once you get two more kills you can slide again now something worth mentioning is you can't cancel the slide so once you're sliding you have to wait for the animation to finish before you can move into another direction so for example if you wanted to do a sliding jump peak you can't do that it's also worth noting that once you slide it cancels your sprint now you can sprint directly after. I don't believe there's a cooldown of any kind, but you gotta make a note of your energy at the bottom there. Similar to like a Viper ability, like her wall or her cloud burst. You can only use this ability as long as you have the fuel for it. Similar to the Viper abilities, it does recharge over time. The recharge is a little slow. So if you sprint onto the site and you use up all of your sprint juice, you're gonna have to wait a little bit before you get it back. So just something to be mindful of there. Last but not least, we have her overdrive. Now her overdrive activates her sprint automatically refilling the sprint bar and you also get lightning <laughs> now you can do the slide it looks like as well with this overdrive sprint feature and this is just essentially to help you entry into a site i'm going to quickly test the damage numbers of the overdrive and i'll put that on screen for you but your overdrive is only active as long as you have that fuel at the bottom there there we go overdrive all right let's see what the overdrive damages look like so headshot does 22 oh that melts hold on oh yeah you can destroy someone with this thing kind of like jet knives 
but with a lightning bolt. Does it have a damage drop off? A slight damage drop off, it looks like. It only did two damage of drop off though, see? It does 22, 44, 66. So 22 damage per hit, but at 50 meters, it does 20 damage per hit. And I believe that's just headshot. If we do body shot, oops. If we do a body shot, oh no, it's the same. Wow, okay. So no matter where you hit the enemy, it's 22 damage per hit. That's close range, of course. Medium range. Yeah, it drops off to 20, and then even at max distance, it's still 20 per hit. Wow. It's interesting how headshots don't have a multiplier, so it doesn't really matter where you hit the enemy with this ultimate activated. You can just... <laughs> you can just do this, basically, and do a lot of damage to an enemy. It has no recoil either. Look at that. Zero recoil. You can, like, jump peek. <laughs> like, since it has... Okay, it does have jumping inaccuracy. That's good. I was gonna say, if it has no recoil, you can like jump peek and like snipe someone with this, but it doesn't look like that's the case. I can just envision myself getting slid on and sniped like that. But there you have it. That is the guide for Neon, the new agent in Valorant. Her abilities are very fun. I'm interested to see how it works in game, if they're overpowered, if they need to be tuned at all, if she's actually going to be part of the meta now. Because right now we see a lot of jet picks, especially at pro play. Jet's almost a staple in every team comp. So is this going to replace Jet as the duelist within those team compositions? I'm interested to see how that works out. Let me know what you guys think of Neon. Personally, I think it's a good agent. It looks quite strong. It's going to be one of the more popular duelist picks in this game. Let me know what you think of the new agent in the comments down below. And also, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I'm going to get going. All I have to say now is stay safe and remember every day above ground is a good day.